First game of the ALCS. We'll see the Boston Red Sox as they play against the Chicago White Sox. Coming up on 2K Sports. ALCS, it is ready to kick off, and here we go. Welcome, MLB on 2K with Phillips and Truck. I'm Gary Thorne. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. They love being here, and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. Starting pitcher, John Danks. Steve, uh, we'll be watching how he approaches this Boston lineup. As a manager, you send John Danks out there, you know you're going to get some competitiveness. You know you're going to get a guy with some presence who can handle a jam. But it's going to get to the sixth and seventh inning when his pitch count gets up. You're going to face a tough decision. Do you leave him in, or do you go to the bullpen? Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup for the Red Sox. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, anytime Victor Martinez is in the game, you expect good production, and that's no different than it is today. It's tough to match up with him. The fact that he's a switch hitter, managers have no idea how to combat him. Is he hitting well from the left side, or is he hitting well from the right side? Well, when you watch him play year after year, you know that he's consistent from both sides of the play. The leadoff hitter, Jacoby Ellsbury, to get us started. All right, Steve, and uh, while it is still early, how about a little strategy viewpoint from the White Sox? I mean, the percentages say that the team that wins game one more than likely ends up winning the series. So you don't want to play with it. You just want to go after it and be aggressive and get out in front early and have the hometown crowd behind you. And there's the inside pitch from Danks. Yeah, getting out to that fast start, we've said it over and over again, but it's those numbers you're talking. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. Play is made. Now, a quick look for this game with the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He gets great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and a strong, accurate arm. Hit hard on the ground to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that sets down Pedroia. Go for a chance. Kevin Euclid, two down. Danks gets set and delivers. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. Pitch on the way. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing and two. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That one's in there. The Red Sox get one. Now nice two-strike approach the by the hitter. A high Catcher, pitch up in the zone. Able to Victor fight it off Martinez. and make contact and put it in play. Runner on Victor Martinez. Here's the pitch. A line drive towards short. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. And so a good inning for John Danks. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the White Sox. And Josh Beckett is the pitcher. He'll get the start for Boston. Number eight. He gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve. A little strategy. Josh Beckett has unbelievable stuff when he takes the mound. The question is, can he command it on a given day? Is he going to pitch or is he going to throw? When he's pitching and commanding all of his stuff, there are times where he's unhittable. Pitcher gets a little help right there. A dirt pitch for a swinging strike. Hot shot towards the hole. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup. Ozzy Guillen's got going. Scouting pick John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, one of the more powerful swings you'll ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. That's one out. And a double play, they got a ball. But Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is for team success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. Beckett, he fooled him on that one. And the hitters are going to have to be ready for that long arching curveball because he can locate that pitch and throw it. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. 
The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a one nothing lead. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And yeah, that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. First pitch was a strike, 0 1 now. They are happy, Steve. Uh, this output is getting this game going in a hurry. Well, standing around on the field in the top half of the inning didn't seem to affect them because they came in swinging the bats. And we'll look to see if the pitching can settle in. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. They come out strong, putting a run on the board early. The Whites. Mike Cameron to lead it off. Center fielder, number 24, Mike Cameron. And that swung on and hit. Rios, one away. For the Boston Red Sox, third base, number 29. Now batting with one down, Adrian Beltre. Danks gets set and delivers. Starts him out with a change up for a strike. They just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change up. Hit on the ground up the middle. So Beltre is set down. Right fielder, number 47. And it's Jeremy Hermida. Hermida. Batting 333. That's a two for six lifetime against the White Sox. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. You can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. And that's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Hermita to protect. You're and out. he strikes out Hermita on a swing and a miss. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Red Sox can't get the offense going. Second. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Only one team stands in the way of taking his club to the World Series. All that hard work in the season coming into play right here. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. And that one sails by Gordon Beckham. He catches him napping and strike three. You know what I like about this is a 0 2. He didn't mess around. He didn't try to dibble to get a chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Back up the middle. And that hit streak will continue as that one gets through. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep him close, because if he gets in scoring position, it may just add on to this lead. Beckett kicks and throws. Hit hard down the right field side. Two away. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Third base. And Joe Creedy in the box. A runner on first Creedy. with two on. Blind right at the second baseman. Throw on to second base. Force play. Side retired. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. Scudero here. He's going to start the third here. Now Przezinski positions himself back up the middle. Back up. Retiring Scudero. Designated hitter number 36. In the box now, their rookie DH. One out, nobody on. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike, going two. Still 0 and 2. Swung 
swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. K Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. It's a pretty good break. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Base is empty and two down. And he starts Ellsbury out. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. Well, outstanding movement on the cut fastball, but he left it out over the heart of the plate. He got away with one right there. And it's 0 2. Ellsbury cut it down for Tech. He delivers. You're out. And a swing and a miss, strike three on Ellsbury. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. The shutout continues in Chicago. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Get his first look in this one. Number 27, Jim Tomei. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. Well, he fooled him terribly with that pitch. I mean, that is one of those pitches right there that you have to notice it out of the hand, recognize it early so you can stay back and try to drive that thing the other way. Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's 1-2. and two. And Jim Tomey looks at that one. It's a called strike three. Could make a better two strike Number pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spot, powering that fastball down and away. And it's Johnny Damon. He's got a 292 average when going up against the Red Sox. Fouled off. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. You know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Now, any throw, the key part of it is footwork. And he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. And the first pitch. A smash to first. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Oh, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base, you don't drive in any runs. What it does is, though, it prolongs the inning, and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. And he starts Canerco out. Swung on, line to right field. This is a great situation for some offense. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Now that you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now, hitting just 217 lifetime off the Red Sox. Now Josh Beckett, he'll have something to work with here. 0 and 2. Pitcher's got him right where he wants him now. Up ahead, 0-2. He can waste the pitch if he wants to. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. And the Red Sox coming up. And Dustin Pedroia to lead it off. Ground out victim last time through. First count on Pedroia. Here it comes. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Into the fourth inning, clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now. Like he's only given up one hit, and they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Swing and a hot shot. Oh, my, that almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. So Kevin Euclid will come up. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws Great to this guy. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. Batting 250 lifetime, three for 12 record against John Danks. And Kevin Euclid watches that one go by. It's even. 
Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Well, that's foul back behind the plate. On the way. Hot shot towards the hole. The second, there's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Number 40. Well, quick release by the third baseman. They get the lead runner at second, just not able to turn the double play. And Martinez ready to start the at bat. First pitch. He's up with it. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. That one's drilled to short, and Ramirez fields the ball. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. And we got a few innings. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. Here's the first pitch. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. The pitch. Grounder up by Beltre. And Beckham set down. And Alex Rios up. He's one for one so far. One out, nobody on. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. A swing line to left center. And that one is in there. His second hit today. Rios is going to go for it. And he is out at second. Number 12. Going to be Brzezinski. Lined out last time up. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 1. Career hitting 5 for 18 against Josh Beckett. It's fouled off. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. We're and we're going to see Beltre here. He'll get a start here in the fifth. Number 20 The first pitch. Beltre. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. With only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Beltre is set down. Right fielder, and it's Jeremy Hermida. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Danks gets set and delivers. Looks like the cutter that time for a called strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement. Down and into the hitter. Up the middle. Danks. So Hermida is retired. Wow, great reactions right there. Doesn't wait any time at all. Getting his glove on the ball and easily throws it to first and retires the run. And we're going to see Scudero here. He's gotten a hit four out of six times against John Danks. Throws on to first side is retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. Still unable to score. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Number 29, Joe. First pitch to Creedy. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Creedy will lean in on that zone now. Joe Creedy comes up empty a swing no contact when you love what he did right there there's no time wasted let's go right after him and sit him down that's about keeping a hitter off balance and he certainly did there well just a hello how you doing and see you later that fastball gets by him on the first pitch 0 and 1 and Martinez sets up his target 
That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. You can't connect on that, Jim Tomei, up empty on a swing. They made it look easy right there. Slicing, dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting up. Fastball, swung out of miss, 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. This one to Ellsbury. And he's there to retire the side. So out of the inning. You take a look at a uh, highly respected manager, Terry Francona. This club only separated by one run from tying this ball game. Got a plan to get back in? We'll see. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. But only one runner left on base. And, you know, we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out. Okay, now we're going to get a chance to see the cutter here, Gary. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. And he starts Ellsbury out. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. And it's 0 2. Ellsbury cut it down, protect. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Shallow left center. And that'll put Ellsbury on first. That'll bring up Dustin Pedroia. Nice two-strike approach by the hitter. A high pitch up in the zone. Able to fight it off and make contact and put it in play. Danks gets set and delivers. Swings, lines this one softly to right. And in there, he's two for three today. So that puts Kevin Euclid at the plate. Now this one's coming to the inside part of the plate, but he manages to put the bat on the ball and drive it to right field. We call that a muscle hit, Steve. He just muscled that to the off. He swings and lines this one softly towards the left side. And Euclid has got himself a base hit. And the throw. And count the run. Game tied. Boston, what offensive production right now. Here's Victor Martinez now with the RBI hope. Well, this offense now really a renewed momentum, Steve. Well, he came up big in that critical situation, Gary. Good at bat right there. Now he's tied it up. And now time is called. This is going to be the first time we've had a visit to the mound. Well, it's going to be a conference time, Gary. They might not take him out here, but it's pretty likely they're going to make a change soon. They may be stalling for time. And Martinez ready to start the at bat first pitch. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. Here's a great chance for Boston. A real pressure mounting right now. That base hit loads up the bases. He's going to have to make a pitch to try to get out of this mess. Three on and one out. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Danks gets set and delivers. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. And with Mike Cameron at the plate and the bases loaded, real chance here for fireworks. And he's a double threat. He has power and speed, so if he doesn't hit it over the wall, he could hurt you on the bases. Up the middle. It gets down. That's going to drive in Pedroia. And Euclid scores too. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Pepsi brings us a look at the win expectation change with those two RBIs. Adrian Beltre hits here with two on. They always hope you can get this offense going late in the ball game. They have, and they've got a lead. You know, Gary, that at bat we just saw could prove to be the most critical at bat in this ball game as they now swing and a shot toward second. There's one, and two, they pull off the double play. A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. Playing out the back half of the first ALCS game. Both teams want this one. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. And 
Ramirez settles in first pitch. Hard ground to the short. Scooter rope. One away. We see easy ground ball to shortstop. Able to get over. Make the play. Good strong throw across the infield to get the runner at first. One out. Bases in. At the belt. Beckett kicks. Ball. Throws. And Canerco will take it down low for a ball. 271 is lifetime average off Boston. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it gets through. Now the tying run at the plate. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. First pitch to Quinton. He waved at that breaker and misses. And a an 0-1 count. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. Taps this one foul to the right. Here's the delivery. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. Now you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. First pitch on the way. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. And he leaves that one alone. Gordon Beckham showing patience. That'll even up the count. Three for 22 lifetime against the Red Sox. The 1-1 one, one now. And that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. Yow, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And for Hamida, out number three. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Red Sox still ahead. And it's Jeremy Hermita. He'll start things off here in the summer. Number 47, Jeremy Hermita. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a line drive. And Hermita's got himself a base hit. Well, a nice piece of hit right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind you. It's Marco Scudero. Runner on first. The pitch from Bush. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. And it's on two. Marco Scudero. He's got to protect the plate on this next pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And it's caught by Ramirez. And that will hold him at first. Up again there, DH. Struck out swinging last time. And the first pitch. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. And that one falls in there for a single. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. It's a ground ball to second base. If he pulls out. Ball. Just missed with the fastball. One and off. Bush delivers the 1 0 pitch. Ball. That'll miss low and inside. Ball two. Well, he's trying to run that fastball low and inside. Just couldn't quite pick up that corner. Didn't get the call. Damon. And he's able to put it away. But keep the runners right where they are now. Two outs. Not a lot of time left in this ball game. You cannot give them more run. Fresh count on Pedroia here towards the middle. Oh, mercy. Did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. And Hermita crosses the plate. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. Just third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Now it's Kevin Euclid. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Offense coming to life late here. Tacking on additional insurance runs. Taking the pressure off the pitch. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. Now they may not have put it away, but they smashes that one towards the shortstop. 
And in there, Boston for a run. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Number 41, Victor Martinez. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. John, what do you think his strategy is going against this Boston? Ground ball towards second. Beckham throws the first side is retired. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The Red Sox a four run lead. Andy starts Rios out. Swing and a miss and he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. Look okay, with this big lead here in the seventh inning it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes get outs right now. There's a swing line drive center field and he gets it down. That's his third hit three for three. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. We talk about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game it comes with nobody out in the inning. First pitch to him. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first run. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Here's the pitch. Line shot into center field. And that'll put Krasinski on first. The opportunity for offense is right now. Number 29, Joe Creedy. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the county. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. And it's going to be Hermita. One of Rios towards third base. Now up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And as Jim told me at the plate, it was a strikeout victim last time through the line. Beckett kicks and throws. He swings and nails a liner. And Rios comes in. Now up to the plate. Put a nice swing on that one. He was sitting on fastball, got fastball, rips it to right field. Nice job. One out with runners at first and second. First pitch on the way to Damon. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front swinging early. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. He got him. That's nine K's now. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to grounder up by Beltre. Gamble lost. Tagged out on his way to third. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. The White Sox are not going to consider. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Cameron gets set. Here's the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Career, he's 0 for 1 off Thornton. And that's a strike. Cameron, who does strike out, will have to be careful here. Here's the pitch. Right on it, but he fouls it straight back. That is a called strike three to Mike Cameron. He's gone. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you. KK, give it a look. Couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. Came right back with another fastball, John. We well, see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that heater right now. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. 
And Ramirez fields the ball. So Beltre is set down. Right fielder, number 47. And it's Jeremy Hermida. Had a single in his last time up. Base is empty and two down. Fresh count on Hermida. Here it comes. Strike one. First pitch, a slider. First ball, strike. And Hermida looks at that one for a ball to even the count. Strike Here's two. a strike, bottom half of the zone, one and two now. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Two and, two. and that one will head all the way to the backstop for a ball. And it's fouled away. Foul. That one goes foul. Well, the pitcher wanted it. The catcher wanted it. The whole team is off. This one's grounded to second. Beckham yeah. throws on to first. Side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. Back half of the eighth inning now. ALCS game one. a familiar face eyes again looking up he knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up and he starts Canerco out and Beckett gets it by called strike and it's on one obviously getting late right now Gary and I think that from the pitching perspective you'll trade an out for a run at the swings lines this one back up the middle and it's in there. He continues to get on base. That's hit number four in this game. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Here's Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. And Beckett gets him swinging on that first strike. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way up. Ball hit very well. Soaring into deep center field. Now they're really making strides to come back there within one. Well, I tell you, the pitching and the defense have got to be nervous right now as the Southsiders look locked in at the plate. They've almost caught it. Base is clear, no outs. Now the first pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And Steve, if we end up in a tie ball game, you're going to look back at that home run and say, this is the one. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. 0-1 uh, mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. It's Alex Rios. A White Sox again with a great opportunity. And he starts Rios out. Fastball swung on a miss. Stolen one. A lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Now Josh Beckett, he'll have something to work with here on two. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics for this pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. This guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. Jonathan Papelbon is going to be pitching as the Red Sox bring him in as a reliever. Uh, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten him a little bit earlier. It's going to be Brzezinski. He's got a 266 career number against the Red Sox. Keep a close eye on Alex Rios. He's got to be running right here with his speed. There's a swing, a drive down the left field line. It's towards the corner. Say goodbye. A three-run homer. A huge three-run homer puts them up by two. Well, sometimes 
making the general manager happy is more important than his name's on the check. Hideki <laughs> Okajima is the pitcher as the Red Sox. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Sometimes for pitchers, it's the stuff, and sometimes it's deception. With Hideki Okajima, you'll see the deception in his delivery. He'll release the ball, and his head will be looking down to the ground. He won't even be looking at the catcher. That has to be intimidating for a hitter. Swing and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes one out. But good, great confidence right there in the stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. Good pitch from Okajima. Swung on and missed. But what an effective pitch. That two-seam fastball had him way out in front of it. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. A textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hot shot towards the hole. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Not before they tally five times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. We'll be looking to the leadoff batter later on in this inning, another A.B. Camera, we get a look at Terry Francona. Still a chance here for his ball club with a two run deficit looming large, but it is not insurmountable. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago's bringing him in to close now. Well, in the late innings, now it's time for the managers to match wits to see who can best utilize his bench and his bullpen to win this game. On the ground to second. He grabs it. One away. Uh, went out here in the ninth inning. They still need two, so they need to get people on and advance base runners. Do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit. Here. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count on one. Well, you have to be grounded up the middle, and Ramirez fields the ball over to Canerco. That's the second out of the inning. Well, they need one more out. Defense ready, lining up behind the pitching, trying to get that big out, forcing them to put it in play and make the play. Headed for the middle, Jenks. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. The big postseason victory right here. And doing it for the hometown crowd, so they're happy and they live to play another day. Chance now to present our Pepsi Clutch performance. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it ends up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And the victory in this game did not come easy. What an outstanding affair. Now, Gary, as a ball club, you really want to come out and dictate the tempo right from the start of the series, and they did that today. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.